Pause, don't skip, because your guardian angels have a significant message for you. There's a surprise heading your way that will got you on edge, and I can't wait to spill the beans. It's like a mystery unfolding in real time. The why and who behind this surprise is a twist you won't see coming, and it's about to unfold right before your eyes. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this. Let the surprises begin. So, take a moment, get comfortable, and let the divine guide it flow into your open heart. Can you sense it? There's something extraordinary in the air, a feeling that the universe is collaborating to bring a bit of magic into your world. Behind the scenes, your angels have been diligently working, orchestrating a symphony of serendipity crafted just for you. Now, let's take a moment to close your eyes and envision this scene. You're navigating through your day, perhaps engrossed in the routine or simply savoring the ordinary. Unbeknownst to you, there's a surprise patiently waiting in the wings, prepared to unfurl and sprinkle a bit of magic over your life. It could manifest as a phone call from a long-lost friend, a spontaneous invitation to an exciting event, or a heartwarming gesture from someone you'd least expect. However, it reveals itself the surprise will serve as a gentle reminder that life is brimming with delightful twists and turns. And on this particular night, now coming to the question, why this surprise? Father wants me to tell you this on his behalf. I, the God of surprises, stand before you with boundless delight, ready to unveil the wonders that await you. Behold, for I am breaking the shackles of limitation that have hindered your journey in the realm of the natural opening doors to opportunities that surpass your wildest dreams. But it is not only in the tangible aspects of existence that I work my wonders. No, I am also a master craftsman of relationships, smoothing the rough edges of discord and infusing harmony into the tapestry of your connections. Prepare yourself, for the bonds you hold dear shall be strengthened, and new alliances shall blossom like flowers in the springtime. In this season of revelation, anticipate the unexpected and embrace the divine surprises that await you. For I, I, the God of surprises, am at work in your life, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary and ushering in a new dawn of possibility and promise. Behold, a friendship once deemed lost and forsaken now stands on the brink of restoration, poised to rekindle the flames of camaraderie and affection. As the sovereign architect of reconciliation, i.e. the Father, am orchestrating this divine reunion, breathing life into what was once considered lifeless. Take heart, for this divine intervention requires no effort on your part. It is the culmination of my divine providence and unfailing love. Like a gentle breeze heralding the arrival of spring, this restored friendship approaches, knocking softly at the door of your heart. In the tapestry of my kingdom, joy and peace intertwine, weaving a fabric of unity and understanding. Embrace this imminent reunion with open arms, for it is a testament to the transformative power of forgiveness and grace. As the bonds of friendship are renewed, may they serve as a beacon of light, illuminating the path to deeper connection and shared laughter. So, stand ready, dear child, for this divine appointment is at hand. Rejoice in the anticipation of renewed fellowship, for it is a testament to the boundless love and mercy that defines my kingdom. I declare unto you, my beloved child, that it is not my desire for you to dwell in the absence of joy, for I have ordained a life overflowing with the fullness of joy that my son sacrificed to bestow upon you. Henceforth, I decree that the tides of joy shall rise within your soul, swelling to unprecedented heights, saturating every fiber of your being with an uncontainable delight. Prepare yourself for the sudden and the surprising shall become the hallmark of your days. Like a rushing river, my spirit shall flow through you, igniting hearts with the flames of divine joy and imparting wisdom that surpasses understanding. Even in the recesses of your personal life, my presence shall manifest, transforming the mundane into the miraculous. As you earnestly seek after my kingdom, I assure you, my beloved, that all shall be granted unto you. This is the appointed day, wherein I shall perform a swift and mighty work within your midst. Behold, 
as the blessings of my kingdom rain down upon you, filling your cup to overflowing, you shall witness the fulfillment of my promises and rejoice exceedingly. So, lift up your eyes, dear child, and behold the wondrous works that I am about to perform. Embrace the sudden and the surprising with open arms, for they herald the dawn of a new era of unprecedented joy and gladness in your life. These are the Father's word you heard. Now, I implore you, dear souls, to embrace this forthcoming surprise with open arms and an open arm heart. Picture yourself standing at the threshold of a new adventure with excitement coursing through your veins and anticipation lighting up your soul. This surprise, woven with threads of celestial love and care, is uniquely tailored to fit the contours of your life's journey. As you await its arrival, let go of any lingering doubts or fears that may cloud your mind. Trust in the wisdom of the universe, knowing that every twist and turn in your path is guided by a divine hand. Release the need for control and surrender to the flow of life, for it is in this surrender that true magic unfolds. With each passing moment, the anticipation grows, like a symphony building to a crescendo. Feel the energy building around you, a harmonious melody of love and light that surrounds your being. Bask in the warmth of this divine embrace, knowing that you are cherished beyond measure. And when the moment of revelation finally arrives, be ready to receive it with open arms and an open heart. For in that moment, you will be greeted with a shower of blessings, each one a testament to the boundless love that surrounds you. So my dear friends, stand tall, embrace the unknown, and prepare to be swept away by the beauty of the unexpected. Feel the palpable energy surrounding you, dear friends, as if the very atmosphere is alive with anticipation and excitement. Can you sense it? It's like a gentle breeze of joy, whispering secrets of delight into your soul. Embrace this moment, for it feels as though the universe itself is cheering you on, nudging you towards something wonderful, just waiting to unfold. Picture it as a warm embrace from your guardian angels, their love and care, weaving a tapestry of positivity around you, lifting your spirits to new heights. Let yourself be carried away by this wave of anticipation, allowing it to wash away any doubts or fears that may linger in your heart. Amidst the chaos of everyday life, take a moment to acknowledge the beauty of this synchronicity, where every element aligns perfectly to create a moment just for you. Don't be scared, my dear one. Trust me and believe in what I say. I promise you, with all my heart, that your faith will soon be rewarded with abundant blessings. I know all too well that you're currently enduring some incredibly tough times. The weight of everything happening around you feels like an insurmountable burden, doesn't it? It's understandable that you're feeling stressed, exhausted and overwhelmed by it all. It seems as though the world is crashing down upon you, leaving you feeling utterly alone, despondent and without hope. But I want you to take solace in something incredibly important. You are not alone in this. Far from it. I am right here with you, every step of the way. You need not fear, for I am by your side, guiding you, protecting you and fighting for you. Even when the challenges seem insurmountable, like towering giants or impassable mountains, know that I am here, steadfast and unwavering in my commitment to you. I will never abandon you to face these trials alone. Instead, I will empower you, making you stronger, wiser, and more resilient so that you can navigate through even the most challenging circumstances. Put your trust in me, dear one, for I am bigger than any problem you may encounter. I want nothing more than for you to live a life filled with peace, confidence and hope. Release all your worries, fears and weaknesses into my care and watch as I transform them into strength, courage and perseverance. Believe with all your heart that I am working tirelessly on your behalf, making you ready to conquer every obstacle and achieve all your dreams. Remember the promises I have made to you. They are not mere words, but a testament to my unwavering love and faithfulness. Hold on to these promises like guiding lights in the darkness, for they reveal the divine plan I have laid out for you, a plan that transcends the limitations of time and space. Do not lose heart 
if answers to your prayers seem delayed. For my timing is perfect, and I am always working behind the scenes to fulfill my promises to you. Trust in my love, dear one, for it knows no bounds. Even in the darkest moments of despair, I am there, holding you close, guiding you through the storm. Never doubt my presence in your life, for I am your eternal source of strength, your unwavering ally in the face of adversity. With me by your side, you are more than a conqueror. You are a beloved child of the Most High, destined for greatness and filled with limitless potential. So, my dear one, do not be discouraged by the challenges that lie ahead. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that I am with you always, leading you toward a future filled with joy, prosperity, and blessings beyond measure. Believe in my promises, for they are true and unshakable. Walk boldly in the confidence of my love, and watch as miracles unfold before your eyes. The Father says today, I am enlarging my word in your mouth. I am putting in your mouth an audacious, incredulous faith that even those who have seen the mountains move will catch their breath and be astonished at what you are believing for. You cannot bankrupt the storehouses, the warehouses of heaven. Treasuries are yet to be released and are now being opened this day. The glories are expanding above you, beneath you and within you. You will see of the travail of your soul and be satisfied. You will reach into the glories by your faith and come out with the hidden manna that will become the manifest substance of your deliverance and your promotion in this season. This is your moment to step into a greater maturity. It is time to put away childish things, childish teachings, and childish people who will never be anything but childish. Abandon, says the Father, those weak teachings and tepid writings that only encourage coping with things that seem to be unchangeable. I am a mountain-moving God. I am a God who gave heaven's best. When the enemy does his worst, I will do my best, and you will come out without even the smell of smoke upon your garments. So, let the heathen rage, says the Father. Be this day the one that sits in the heavens and laughs, knowing that the greater one is within you and the outcome is assured. The Father says today, let the law of kindness be in your mouth. For all the rantings and ravings arising from the company of the uninformed, I say to you, put your hand to your mouth. When they solicit your opinion, say nothing. Silence waits for me. There are times when silence is the most powerful faith statement you could ever make. When they call for your input, refuse to speak until I fill your mouth with the wisdom of the just. This is a time and an hour to know that by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. To those who have pronounced, declared, and judged through eyes blind to their own condition, I say, I did not come to destroy, but to save. Let salvation be in your mouth, even this day, even to those who have reviled my justice and my sovereignty over the earth. Open your mouth wide, says the Father, and I will fill it. Let your voice and your words become a stream even a river of mercy poured out to stubborn and gainsaying people. When Jonah prophesied the doom of Nineveh, he became incensed and inconsolable when they repented. And I forbade to destroy the city. He lamented the death of a garden vegetable and complained when a sea of humanity in the city was spared by my hand. I say to you, purpose in your heart to be a participator and not an objector to my mercy. Say not in your heart, they shouldn't get away with that. I do not judge on the timetable of man. Were I to judge the offender you can identify, I would also need to deal with things even in your own heart and life. So, be the mouth of mercy, from a heart of mercy, speaking the words of mercy, even to those who are most obnoxious in their stubbornness. I will turn them, not by my severity, but by my goodness, and you will go together to the table of the Lord in peace. The Father says today, I am preparing you for the consequences of total victory. As you walk in the fullness of my power and authority, you will witness the destruction of the wicked. 
you will see the downfall of those who have opposed me and my purposes. Your eyes will behold the crumbling of the enemy's strongholds. Your ears will hear the thunder of my judgment against those who have sought to thwart my plans. In the face of such an overwhelming victory, it will be tempting to gloat over the downfall of your enemies. But I urge you not to succumb to this temptation. Instead, let compassion be your guide. Remember David, a man after my own heart. Even as he faced relentless opposition and betrayal, he never lost sight of his humanity. He mourned for his enemies, recognizing their suffering and the consequences of their choices. David understood that, but for my grace and mercy, he could have easily met a similar fate. Let this understanding be the foundation of your response to the defeat of your enemies. When you hear of their demise, let your first instinct be mercy, not judgment. Extend the same compassion to them that David extended to his enemies. This is the hour of great upheaval. Everything that is not built on my foundation will be shaken. Only that which is aligned with my kingdom will stand. The enemy's fortress will crumble, revealing its vulnerability. Those who have mocked, scorned and vilified you will be humbled before you. I will deliver your enemies into your hands. What will you do then? Will you crush them underfoot? Will you revel in their humiliation? Your actions in this moment will define your character and shape your future. Mercy, not vengeance, will determine the trajectory of your path. As you stand victorious, remember the words of my servant David. The Father says today, ponder the true meaning of love. Love is not merely an action or emotion, it is the very essence of my being. I am love and I yearn for you to embrace this love within yourselves. Let love, let ME permeate every aspect of your lives. Extend your love beyond your circle of comfort, embracing even those who may seem undeserving, for it is in loving those who are unkind or unloving that you truly embody the power of love. Do not let your minds compartmentalize love, excluding others based on your judgments. Remember, I am always at your door, knocking to enter your hearts. I stand, even at the doors of those you may deem unworthy, for love extends to all, regardless of their perceived worthiness. If you cannot embrace those for whom I sent my son to die, then you cannot fully embrace my love. The table I have prepared for you is open to all, even your enemies. Invite them to sit with you, just as I died for all, not just those considered lovable or believing. Love never fails, my beloved. It is the enduring force that guides us through life's challenges. Hatred, on the other hand, is a weak and ineffective tool. It has no true energy and cannot lead you to the fulfillment you seek. Cast aside the burdens of past hurts and disappointments. Forgive those who wronged you and release the negative emotions that hold you back. Bless even those who have spoken ill of you, for it is only through forgiveness and love that you can truly move forward. The Father says today, I am your creator, your protector, and your guide. Today, I want to speak to you about your potential, the boundless possibilities that lie dormant within you. For far too long, you have allowed yourself to be held back by fear, doubt, and insecurity. You have settled for less than what you are truly capable of, believing you are not worthy of greatness. But today, I declare that those days are over. I am calling you to rise up and embrace your true potential. I am sending anointed leaders into your life to help you overcome the obstacles that have held you back and unleash the greatness within you. Now begins a season of dismantling the illegitimate authorities that have controlled you for so long. These forces have left you frustrated, insecure and powerless. But I am here to tell you that you are not a prisoner of your past. You are free to break the chains that bind you and step into the fullness of your destiny. Speak to yourself. Make declaration. Decree with the words of your mouth. This is your time of change, your watershed moment. I am opening doors before you that you never thought possible. I am inviting you to walk onto the superhighway of my goodness and your destiny. But before you can embark on this journey, you must open your heart. You must set aside the bitterness, resentment and hopelessness that have weighed you down for so long. 
You must believe that a brighter future is possible. I know that this may not be easy, but I promise you that I am with you every step of the way. I will provide you with the strength and courage you need to overcome any obstacle that stands in your path. I am not asking you to do this alone. I am calling you to gather those who are closest to you, your family, your friends, your community, and to embark on this journey together. Your prosperity and blessings are not just for you alone. They are meant to be shared with all those who love and support you. I am an inclusive God, and I want you to be inclusive as well. Even those who have hurt you or wronged you deserve to experience my love and grace. I know that you have the faith to move mountains, but faith alone is not enough. You must also have love and expansive, inclusive love that embraces even your enemies. As you learn to love unconditionally, you will begin to see the world in a new light. You will discover that your true potential lies not in your achievements or possessions, but in your ability to love and be loved. So open your heart, embrace your potential, and walk into the fullness of your destiny. I am with you every step of the way. The Father says today, I am here. Talk to me. In the midst of life's trials and tribulations, it's easy to feel lost and alone, says God. But be reassured that you are never truly alone. Even in the darkest of times, my watchful eye is upon you, guiding our steps and leading us toward victory. Imagine yourself wandering through a desolate desert, the scorching sun beating down upon you, and the endless expanse of sand stretching out before you. You may feel utterly alone, abandoned by all hope. Yet even in this desolate landscape, I am with you, refreshing you, guiding you and bringing you through. Angels, those celestial messengers of love and light, cheer you on from the heavens, their ethereal voices whispering encouragement in your ear. The Father says today, amidst the cacophony of worldly judgments and self-doubt, the Father's voice resonates with unwavering clarity, assuring you that you are not an outcast, a black sheep, or a rebel. These labels, born from human perceptions and limitations, do not define your true essence. You not as a lone wolf or a one-man show, but as an integral part of my grand tapestry. Your path is not isolated, but of collaboration, aligning your thoughts, actions, and collective efforts with his divine will. Step forward, says the Father, and embrace your responsibility with unwavering confidence. Shed the insecurities that seek validation from the fickle opinions of man. Your true honor and recognition stem from his throne alone. The inconsistencies you observe in the teachings and actions of others are not reflections of truth, but rather deviations from the path of righteousness. Look beyond the superficial and delve into the principles that have guided those who have conquered adversity and fulfilled their calling. Principles rooted in humble obedience and unwavering persistence. Fear of man is a shackle that binds you to the limitations of human judgment, says the Father. Cast it aside, for it was not man who sacrificed his life for your salvation. Align yourself with the only begotten, the source of true liberation and purpose. Join the ranks of the many brethren who have triumphed over adversity, overcoming violence, subduing kingdoms, and embodying righteousness. These exemplary individuals, led by the Father's guiding hand, serve as beacons of inspiration, demonstrating the transformative power of unwavering faith and obedience. True spiritual fathers do not suppress your growth in the name of discipleship. Instead, they nurture your potential, fostering an environment where you can flourish and fulfill your divine purpose. Embrace the Father's unwavering love and guidance and embark on a journey of self-discovery, shedding the labels imposed by others and embracing the true identity he has bestowed upon you. Let your thoughts, actions, and collaborative efforts align with my divine will, and you shall discover the transformative power of a life lived in accordance with my principles. The Father says today, in the depths of your being, amidst the whispers of doubt and the shadows of uncertainty, there lies a spark of hope, an ember of resilience that awaits the gentle touch of divine restoration. Know that I am the restorer of all things, and I have arrived, not as a distant observer, but as an active participant 
in the reclamation of your life. You have been cast aside, disregarded, and overlooked, left to navigate the labyrinth of life alone. But I, the unwavering companion, have always been present, even in your darkest moments, a silent witness to your struggles and a beacon of light amidst the darkness. Shake off the weight of abandonment, the shackles of rejection that have bound you. You are not alone. I am here, an ever-present force, a sanctuary of love and acceptance. Cast aside the burdens that weigh you down, the scars that have etched upon your soul. Allow me to cleanse these wounds, to mend your broken spirit with the healing balm of my love. Two millennia ago, I paid the ultimate price for your salvation, shedding my blood as an act of redemption, a testament to my unwavering commitment to your restoration. Now, the time has come for you to rise from the ashes of despair, to embrace the brilliance that lies dormant within you. Come closer, weary soul, and rest your head upon my chest. Let the rhythm of my heart be your solace, a comforting melody that soothes your troubled spirit. In the depths of my embrace, I will reveal the dreams I hold for you, dreams that transcend the limitations of this earthly existence. See with the eyes of faith and anticipation, for I am crafting your future according to the blueprint of heaven. No force can hinder or alter my plans for you. No obstacle can deter me from fulfilling my promises. While others may succumb to despair, I say to you, look and live. Open your eyes to the promise that awaits you, a promise as vast as the universe itself. I am faithful and I will fulfill my promises in this season. Arise, child of destiny, and reclaim your rightful place in the grand tapestry of creation. Let the light of my love guide your path, illuminating the path towards your true calling. Together, we will reclaim lost ground, transform despair into hope, and usher in a new era of fulfillment and joy. The Father says today, stop beating yourself up. The situation around you arises from the vulnerable humanity of those involved, and there is no culpability to assign, unless you honestly think that being vulnerable in your humanity is a transgression from my point of view, which would not be true. Cease the relentless self-punishment. I am not angry towards you, and while you are suffering, it isn't me who is punishing you. You do that to yourself quite efficiently. Release the shackles of self-criticism and self-deprecation, for these burdens weigh heavily upon your soul. Self-condemnation and self-hatred are akin to self-inflicted wounds, a futile attempt to mend what cannot be changed. Give it up. Give it up to me and forgive, bless, and move on. No one is going to change their hearts just because you are inflicting self-immolation upon your soul, your mind, and your emotions. Stop it. Just as a man slashing himself with stones in the graveyards finds no solace, so too will you find no peace in relentless self-flagellation. Where am I in all of this? I am right in the midst, extending to you liberation today, a path to serenity and sanity. You are not summoned to self-harm, nor to reproach yourself. Instead, you are invited to rest at my feet, absorbing wisdom and grace simply. You may believe there are aspects of your life you can mend, but this weight is not yours to bear. Surrender control over what you cannot alter to my capable hands and wise counsel. Do you trust me? Allow me to take over from this point forward, for all you are going to do is muck things up. Let go. If you can't trust in the situation, trust me in the situation. I will guide and govern you, heal you, and handle the complexities of life. Refrain from reactive actions. Do not act out of a false sense of obligation. Patiently wait for me. Offer up every day your decisions and actions, trusting in its wisdom and guidance to work through the midst of the mess to bring about my will. Let your movements, thoughts, and decisions to emanate tranquility. Root your actions in solitude, spending time in my presence, soaking in my grace made generously available to you. I will communicate with you through dreams, visions, and the whispers of the Spirit, revealing hidden truths and guiding you through life's labyrinth. You are in the struggle of your lifetime, says the Father. You are not left to wage this battle alone. I am with you, within you. 
Rely entirely on my guidance, and you will be lifted from the abyss of despair into a new realm of blessings. The Father says today, the shackles that have bound you are this day cast asunder, the chains that have held you captive are broken, and the prison doors that have confined you are flung wide open. This is the day of liberation, the dawn of a new era where you are no longer a slave to limitation, deprivation, or bondage, but a free spirit soaring through the boundless expanse of grace and redemption. My hand is extended to you, offering you a path out of the darkness and into the radiant light of freedom. I have shattered the chains that held you captive, says God. The chains of fear, doubt, and self-doubt. The chains of addiction and destructive habits and the chains of societal expectations and self-imposed limitations. No longer are you bound by the weight of your past mistakes, the burdens of guilt and shame that weighed you down. No longer are you confined by the limitations you placed upon yourself, the beliefs that you were not worthy or capable of true freedom. Today, I set you free, and this freedom is yours to claim. What to do next? Step onto the altar of redemption, a sanctuary, where you can lay down your burdens and receive the cleansing power of my love. Cast off the shackles that have held you back, the fears that have paralyzed you, the doubts that have clouded your vision. Embrace the liberation that is your birthright, the freedom that is yours by virtue of being a child of God. Lift your head high, for you are no longer a prisoner of circumstance or a slave to sin. You are a free spirit, soaring on the wings of hope and possibility. The prison master's plan is no longer relevant, for he no longer holds the keys to your freedom. The keys are now in your possession, and the choice is yours to unlock the door to a life of boundless joy and fulfillment. Take up your keys of freedom, break free from the chains of the past, and embrace the liberation that the Father has bestowed upon you. For whom I have set free, says God, is free indeed. The Father says today, I will expose the enemy's strategies and make known his counsels against you and against the unfolding of your destiny. Be prepared for this revelation as I guide you out of turmoil and into dominion over the enemy's works. This is a time of transformation, a turning point, says the Father. You will witness my hand at work, reversing circumstances and exposing the enemy's every deception and lie. Do not fret or worry, says the Father, for this exposure leads to the enemy's defeat not your own failure. Stand firm and unwavering, refusing to relinquish your peace or composure. While these may seem like outward matters, I am granting you X-ray vision to see through them and know precisely what you need to know when you need to know it. As the new year approaches, you will experience newfound clarity and spiritual insight. I will guide you on a new path, illuminated by the razor-sharp clarity of my spirit. You will see and understand things that previously eluded you, enabling you to halt the enemy in his tracks. I will shield and protect you from every infernal assault. I will dispatch angels, ready to engage in battle, in response to your bold and courageous petitions and supplications, fueled by your unwavering faith. You will accomplish all that I have called you to do. Your assignments will not be stillborn or end in failure. You will also experience increased financial blessings, blessings that you should have been enjoying all along, but which the enemy has been preventing no more. As you pray in faith, I will respond with power. Today, I am working to bring about abundance, more abundance, and even more abundance into your home, showering your family with blessings and opening the heavens over your life. The Father says today, you are embarking on a journey into uncharted territory. New experiences and opportunities await, particularly in the realms of relationships and finances. In the past, your investments may have seemed to vanish into thin air, but now I will usher in a season of unprecedented fruitfulness and productivity. As you align yourself with my teachings and embrace my kingdom principles, a transformation will unfold in these areas. Remain open to new possibilities and eager to learn. Embrace risks with unwavering faith, even when they appear daunting to the natural eye. Be bold, assertive, and willing to step out in anticipation of my goodness manifesting in your life. When familiar patterns of past failures resurface, 
recognize that you are not destined to repeat the same mistakes. You are a conqueror, poised to claim fresh victories from the ashes of past defeats. Seek my guidance in matters of relationships and ministry. Your questions and uncertainties are not a reflection of doubt, but rather a desire for deeper understanding. Approaching me for clarity is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your faith. I will not only provide you with clarity, but I will also communicate with you with greater precision. I will reveal the path ahead, directing your steps with unwavering guidance. Reach out to me, and I will envelop you in my favor, shielding you from harm. Expect restoration in broken relationships. Believe in the possibility of transformation. Situations are shifting. Poverty is yielding to abundance, and strife is giving way to healing. This is your time, your moment, to embrace the blessings I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I am beckoning you into a deeper realm of intimacy with me, leading you to profound depths within my kingdom. The remnants of idolatry crumble before you, paving the way for a fresh discipline of prayer. Within you resides an innate grace for prayer, a divine gift that empowers you to open your heart and make your petitions known. Even during my earthly walk, I offered prayers with unwavering intensity, a necessity despite my perfect humanity and sinless nature. Prayer was not merely an option, it was a lifeline. If I found prayer indispensable in my flawless existence, how much more essential is it for you? Prayer, a daily practice of verbal entreaty, is as vital to your survival as the breath you draw. Reorient your mind towards a life of prayer, channeling energies once wasted towards me in earnest supplication. This investment will yield rich dividends, manifesting tangible blessings in your life. Heed the fresh call of my voice today. Are you listening, my sheep? Are you yielding to my guidance? Harden not your hearts, for a prayer movement is sweeping across the earth, and you are among the first to receive this invitation. My people of this generation will ascend to a level of prayer unseen since the first century. The battle is not over, it is merely a prelude to victory. Gird yourselves to transform the spoils of earth into heavenly bounty, both for yourselves and your communities. Embrace the mantle of dominion and reign bestowed upon you from before the dawn of time. The Father says today that I am establishing your borders and your boundaries. You may feel encroached upon by others and taken advantage of, but know this, beloved, no man or circumstance determines what happens to you next. I am sovereign in your life, and at the end of the day, as you put your trust in me, you will come forth as fine gold. Many influences would seek to trespass against my promises over you, but fear not. I will cause you to rule and reign over all man's contradictions. I will take all those contrary situations and bring Satan shortly under your feet. My anointing on you and in you will rise up and go out to cause a rooting up and pulling down of every enemy stronghold. The rooting up will come to destroy the adversary's work, and building up and establishing will take place regarding what I have promised and planted in your life. Yes, there are some things that I am going to build, and there are some that I will plant. That which I build will be that concrete blessing installed up in your life as a wall and a defense against the enemy's advance against you. Within that which I build, there shall be blessing, provision, and protection over those things and those concerns in your heart that you purposely and by faith commit to me. I am planting, says the Father. That which I plant will not die, but will begin to grow. At first, it's going to look like bare ground, but then it is going to be the ear, then the stock, then the full corn in the ear, and then the harvest. You will see in your land the seed fruit harvest of my goodness. Be faithful to plant. Be faithful to sow. Be faithful to move in the power of seed time and harvest. And there will be no more crop failure, but a full recompense of faith, reaped in full measure back into your life. Says your God, the Father says today, before there can be a breakthrough, there must be a breakdown. Allow me to break down those things around you that are incompatible with what I am doing and what I have called you to. Take your refuge in me and allow my hand to pass over your life to conquer every adversary.
Apply the blood of Christ to the doorpost of your heart and know that everything of value in my kingdom will be passed over in the time of shaking. The blood of Christ applied to your life and your situation is coming with great force in its efficacy to bring deliverance and shake every enemy of the cross that has come against you. Do not be afraid of the turbulence when it comes. Fear not when the shaking comes, for the shaking that comes only removes those things that carry death, only removes those things that diminish, and only removes those things from your life that are not constituent elements of the destiny that I have for you, says the Father. I am touching your mouth. Even as I said in Jeremiah, I am putting forth my hand and touching your mouth, putting my words in your heart to speak with great boldness. My touch in your mouth will produce my word in your life, says the Father. You are going to feel it happen. There will be seasons throughout the coming year that you will sense my hand and my touch upon you to speak boldly and forthrightly, even to silence the adversary and stifle the naysayers who do not agree with what I am saying and doing on the inside of you. When that comes, there will be a decree that will accompany it. Let the decree go on, not just out of what you have been taught, not just out of your learning or things you know, but speak forth at the moment, out of that resonant experience of my anointing on the inside of you. When you feel my hand upon you, open your mouth boldly, and allow my word to bring a rooting out that will expose and expel all works of darkness, and establish you in victory, and in the advancement of my purpose, and my promise in your life. The Father says today, press into the pressure. This is a season that places you in the midst of transition. There are purposes coming to the birth in your life, and with that are many challenging things. Do not shrink from the pressure. Do not run from the challenge or ignore the problems. Refuse to turn away from the pressure. That pressure moving against you is the last hurdle before you break out into the righteousness, peace, and joy of my kingdom. It is through much tribulation or much pressure that you enter into the kingdom, beloved. There are times you feel pressure and you want to fly away like a bird to its sanctuary. I say to you, says the Father, don't shrink from the challenge. Turn into the challenge, for as you turn into the challenge, you shorten the tribulation and you will break out into the kingdom. When you break out into the kingdom, it's going to be righteousness, joy and peace. The righteousness I am to you in this hour brings entitlement, ruling and reigning. This is that righteousness wherein everything you say and do will become as effective as if I said or did it. You will experience my joy. Go out and be led forth in peace. My child, stop for a second and answer me. Why are you fighting me for controlling your life right now? Like others, there's an area or two at least where you're still fighting me with God for control. It may be that I'm calling you to let go of something. Maybe it's something bad. Maybe there's a sin in your life that I'm calling you to let go. Maybe it's something good that you're holding on to. And I'm saying, I've got something better for you, but you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to let me rule. And you're fighting me for control. So, when you have those places in your life where you're fighting me for control, you have to learn to let go and trust me. And this is the faith that freedom comes through surrender, victory comes through submission. It's all backward, it's different than what the world tells you. A man in order to catch a baboon went to a termite mound. He discovers their hardness. The man drills a hole and places a small silver trinket inside. The curious baboon, witnessing the process, descends the tree, inserts its hand and grabs the trinket, but can't retract its fist. The man seizes the opportunity, approaches the frantic baboon, and, despite its wild reactions, all it needs to do to escape is let go. The man then secures the baboon with a noose and takes it into captivity. I wonder, don't you think Satan wants to take some of you, or all of you, to captivity using the thing that you're afraid to let go? You think he doesn't want to keep you a slave to sin? It's time to give it up, all you've to do is let it go. Let go of the way you thought it was supposed to go. Let go. Sometimes, 
It is a letting go that feels like death, but it's really a blessing, the blessing of letting go. What is it that you're trying to control that I want you to surrender? I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. I can do way more. That which is on your heart is always better in my hand. You don't always have the power to control, but you do always have the power to surrender. And I promise you, I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. Surrender means not your way, but my way. You wonder what I would call you to surrender today. I've already speaking to you and calling you to surrender something to you. And it's time to say, Father, not my way, but your way. I surrender this to you. I'm going to be real and open and honest about my struggle. And I'm going to get through it with you. I'm not going to try to do it on my own anymore. Will you let me be God? Will you let me be your divine father? But you've got to learn how to lose control. Honestly, it will come after realizing that I've got a God who is awesome, who's mighty, who's powerful, who's great, who is indescribable, knowing that I have him being in control versus me having stuff in my hands and trying to control it. Because in my hands, I guarantee I mess it up. But in his hands, it's going to be all right. Just trust me and let it be what's going to be. Then you could reflect on the fact that, hey, if God be for me, then who in the world can be against me? And even though things don't look like how you want them to look, and even though you don't feel how I want to feel, and even though you don't got the most money in the bank, here's what you must going to do. I must still remain faithful and obedient because I know I can sit back, trust God, because if this is where he has me, then there must be something for me. One of the lessons that you must learn was how to sit and trust. Sit and trust. People will let you down. Companies will fail. The government won't keep its promises. But I will never let you down. I will never fail. No matter what you are going through or what you do go through, place your trust in me. When you are in the middle of unimaginable circumstances and it feels like all hope is lost, trust in me. Cling to my word. Look at my track record. What I've done before, I can do again. I was faithful then and I'm faithful now. If you want to follow me, if you're going to completely surrender to me, it requires saying I'm and will give you everything, all of it. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I give you all that I have and all I am. I trust you. I want you to think of that, your biggest problem right now. You know, the thing that wakes you up in the middle of the night, the thing you wake up stressed about in the morning, the thing that you're biting your nails for, that you're constantly anxious about that big problem that you don't see a solution for. You've got that picture in your mind right now. Okay, now what I want you to do is come into that position of surrender, where you're raising your hands and you're closing your eyes, raise your hands like this, I surrender. And then I want you, in your mind's eye, to picture yourself walking up to the cross and laying that big problem down at the foot of the cross.